Tiger's Discovery by Michaela Morgan and illustrations by John Stewart. In this story, Tiger, Miss Jones, Tiger's teacher, Mrs. Mills, the head teacher. Tiger was late for school. As he passed the staff room, he heard voices. Where do you think you lost it? said Mrs. Mills. I don't know, said Miss Jones. She sounded very upset. Tiger wondered what Miss Jones had lost. He looked into the staff room. What does it look like? asked Mrs. Mills. Miss Jones held out her hand. Something sparkled. What a shame, said Mrs. Mills. I'll have to look for my earring later, said Miss Jones. The bell went for class. Tiger hid. Mrs. Mills and Miss Jones came out of the staff room and shut the door. Tiger didn't like to see Miss Jones upset. He had an idea. He turned the dial on his watch and... A micro-sized tiger crawled under the door. He had never been in the staff room before. It was a bit scary. He looked all around, hoping to see the sparkly earring. Just then, the door opened. Mrs. Mills was back. Oh no! cried Tiger. He ran and hid behind the bin. What a mess, Mrs. Mills said. No wonder Miss Jones can't find her earring. Mrs. Mills picked up some rubbish and walked towards the bin. Tiger had to move. Fast! Tiger ran across to the table. He looked up. Something sparkled. It was on top of a pile of papers. There it is, he said. Mrs. Mills had her back turned. Tiger began to climb. It was hard work. Finally, he got to the top. And what sparkly thing did he find? He did not have to wait long. Mrs. Mills came over. What a mess, she said. She picked up the mug. Oh no, said Tiger. He held his breath and ducked down in the cold tea. Mrs. Mills tipped the cold tea into the sink. Splash! Tiger swirled round and round. He was pulled towards the plug hole. Splash! Help! cried Tiger. He grabbed hold of the plug and hung on tight. The tea gurgled down the plug hole. When it was gone, Tiger climbed down into the sink. Help! The sink was a bit grubby. There was a mug and some spoons and... What was that? Something sparkled. It was the earring.
tiger picked up the earring. He climbed up the plug chain and out of the sink. Then he climbed down a hand towel. He ran across the staff room and crawled under the door. Back in the corridor, Tiger put down the earring. He turned the dial on his watch and. Tiger picked up the earring. He hurried along to his classroom. Tiger, said Miss Jones crossly, why are you so late? And why are you all dirty and wet? Sorry, Miss Jones, said Tiger. I fell in a puddle. Tiger held out his hand. But I found this, he said. Has anyone lost it? My earring, said Miss Jones. She sounded very happy. Oh, thank you, Tiger. Retell the story. Find out more. For more amazing discoveries, read The Silver Box and Finding Things.